Welcome to the Brass and Woodwind Shop. I know I do not say this enough, but thank you to all my viewers and also thank you to those who have left tips in the tip jar. I really appreciate it and it helps me to produce these videos. I bought this electroplater and I'm going to use it for the first time. I did read the instructions and I watched a few YouTube videos about this. For plating and also for lacquering, you need a very clean surface to work with. So I'm going to start with buffing. And I'm going to start with a very small object, just the second valve side. I'm going to start with that and try to get a little bit of experience on that first. And then I'm going to go from there. It just has one small spot where the plating is gone. The brass underneath that is also pitted, so I am going to buff it with the Triple E buffing compound. The Triple E buffing compound has a very coarse grit, so it's going to take off some of the plating also, and usually I do not want to take off plating while I'm working on an instrument, or on a silver plated instrument, but in this case it's okay because I need to get rid of the pitting on there, and also I am going to be replating it anyway, so if it takes off a little plating in that area, it really does not matter that much. So I'm going to get rid of all the pitting in there so that it is smooth. I buffed this with a triple E buffing compound and it removed all of the pitting that was on there. It did also remove some of the plating but I'm going to plate over the whole area so that should be fine. Now I'm going to go to the Red Rouge buffing compound. The Red Rouge is a very fine grit and that polishes things up and makes them very shiny. Okay, there it is. It is shiny and it is almost ready to be plated. The Red Rouge buffing compound leaves a very fine layer of stuff on top of that. And in order for the plating to stick like it's supposed to, I need to clean that up. The instructions said to wash it off with some dish detergent, so I'm going to do that. And that cleans off the layer of stuff left from the Red Rouge buffing compound. Then you test it by running a little bit of water over it. They said that if the water just flows over it, that is good, but if it leaves little dots of water, then that is a place where the plating will not stick. So, I'll try that again. I think, okay, I think that looks good. The little cloth needs to be thoroughly wet, so you can put some water on it to make sure that it gets wet all the way through. Then I need to wrap this around the foot. and hook this up to here. Then the black one gets hooked onto the part. I have not plugged it in yet. Pour some of this in here and try not to spill it. This is like very expensive right here. I'm not sure how much plating you get out of one of these bottles. Now I'm going to plug in the unit and I need to be careful not to arc anything. Okay, put this in here and let it soak in. This is exciting. This is a moment that everyone's been waiting for. Uh, let's see if it works. I always think, oh, turned black. Okay, I guess I need to go faster then. I said if it turns black, you need to go faster. Okay, uh, huh. well, it definitely did plate it. It looks a little bit um, black. I'll probably need to polish it when I'm done. Okay, well. I guess I'm going to put a little more on there so it's a little thicker. Okay. Well, there it is. I can kind of see the brass through there a little bit, so I guess I probably need to add a little bit more. <laughs> when things like this actually work, you're a little surprised, or at least I am. I don't know about you guys. I'm a little surprised when things actually work like they're supposed to. But it looks like this is working. So... I unplugged the unit. Now I'm going to take this off. I have a silver polishing cloth and I'm polishing that. And let's see what we have when we're done. Wow, that actually looks good. Look at that. It actually did what it's supposed to. No, I should not be surprised, but I am. That really looks very good. So, well, I guess that gave me more confidence to continue with the other parts. This is the third valve slide, and there's another spot that needs to be plated. If you watched the last video on me restoring this coronet, you saw me patch the cracks that were in the slide right there and right there. The yellowish spots right there, that's where I put the silver solder on it and I patched the cracks. 
I also need to be careful after I wash this not to touch this because the oils on your hand can uh, cause problems with the plating. So I'm going to hook this up again and then I'm going to plug in the unit. And I am unplugging it every time because I don't want things to touch and things to get ruined. I'm going to do it again. Let's see. Yep. It's turning black again, but I guess that's okay because that polishes up. Uh, silver usually turns black when it tarnishes, so probably there's just some oxygen in the solution, I'm going to guess. And it's making it black. But that will polish right up. I'm going to unplug the unit and then clean up these spots and see how it looks. For whatever reason, the plating did not stick this time. Maybe I did not go over it enough. I'm not sure, but I'm going to do that again. I'm going to check the third side and see how that did. Let's see. Okay, I, I can see that there's a thin coat of plating there. I probably just did not go over it enough times. I'm going to do that again. So I'm going to hook this back up. I wonder if maybe the teeth on this did not get continuity. And this time I'm going to go over it a little bit more. And it's also possible that maybe I just needed to dip it into the solution more. I'm going to take this off and then do the other one again. I'm going to clean this off and see how it is this time. Okay, it looks like it's stuck this time, so I'm going to polish with a polishing cloth. That's where I put on the plating, and it looks good. And now the main tuning side. Okay, I think that looks good too. Yep, it is plated. That's where the crack was in the tubing, and that looks really good. You cannot tell that there's a crack there, so I guess that's what you want. An invisible repair is a good repair. I prepared the spot on the C crook right there where that big split was that I filled in, and also I prepared part of the body of the coronet, the lead pipe. Here we go on this part. I polished up that section and that looks good. Now I'm ready to do the lead pipe. I'm a little curious about one thing. There is a little bit of red rot right there. You can see that pink spot. And that's where the zinc came out of the metal and it's just left with copper. And that does happen on older instruments and it's not really anything to worry about in this case. I'm just wondering if it will plate over it. Let's see. I'll probably need to wait until after I'm done with all the plating and then polish and then see what happens. So this is polishing up, or it is um, plating nicely. Um, you can see it's changing colors, so that's good. Yeah, I, I think this is going to take a while. It's probably going to take several minutes to do this whole thing, but I think it's going to be okay. And also I have to get in the cracks. I have not tried to do inside the cracks yet. Let's see how that does. Okay, I guess yeah, it is, does seem to be plating inside the cracks too, so that's good. This thing actually works quite well. I probably should not have waited 26 or actually 27 years to get one of these things. Probably should have gotten one a long time ago. If you'd like to buy one of these, I'll leave a link in the description below to where you can get one. And this is not a sponsored video. I'm just showing you me using it and showing you what I think about it. I'm all done, or at least I might be all done. I'm going to see how that one spot with the red rot did. I think that is okay. It was right there. I'm, it looks like it's plated well. This place with all the knurling on it, that looks like it did not plate quite as well as the other places. But it will probably work though. I may touch that up one more time. It looks like I might have to touch up a few places in this area, 
but there is some pitting in the metal underneath the plating so the plating may just not stick to it unless I buff that out really good and I'm a little concerned about buffing that out because that would take off too much metal so it might just have to stay the way it is but I am going to touch it up one more time and see if it's going to plate any better than it is now. There's the section that I did. It did plate over the pink spot. You can see it is a little rough there, but it, it looks okay. The only places it did not get were a little line right here. When you hold the instrument, sometimes your body chemistry eats away at the metal and it causes pitting in the metal. Where the spots are pitted, the plating did not get in there, but it is a lot better than it was and you actually have to look pretty closely to see that. I could have buffed that out and that would have smoothed it and then it would have taken the plating a lot better. The problem is it would have taken off a lot of metal. I'd rather have a few spots that did not take the plating well than take off a lot of metal on there. I will leave a link in the description below to where you can get one of these platers. I hope you enjoyed this video and please subscribe for more band instrument repair videos.